How you doing, family? Addict named Kent. Um, there is a way that we can survive without the use of drugs. Let's read the um, just for today. Gratitude list. We focus on everything that isn't going our way and ignore the beauty in our lives. Don't look at here all the time. Look out here. Lift our head up. Okay. We don't need to be looking down anymore. We need to have our head up and look where we're going. It is easy to be grateful when things run smooth. But we get a rise at work. We get grateful. We get married. We get happy. We get joyed. We get grateful. If something surprises us with a nice, nice present and unasked favor, gratitude flies out of the window. We find ourselves becoming obsessed with the things that are wrong, even though something else may be wonderful. This is where we can use a gratitude list. We sit down with a pen and paper and let the gratitude flow as we are grateful. We have people who supposed us through life's upheavals. We list the spiritual assets of having been anointed. For we know we could never make it through our present circumstances without them. Last, last but not least, we list our recovery itself. Whatever we have that we are grateful for goes on that list. We sure to find that we have literally hundreds of things that inspire us. Every, even these of us who are suffering from the illness, who have lost material wealth and everything but is most valuable and an addict can receive. Today, I will write a list of things that both materially and spiritually for which I am grateful. Writing is an important thing in recovery. So they say, I think it's overrated. Okay? Uh, I don't write my stuff down because I'm not good at writing. That's why I do videos. Because I'm very good at talking. I'm not so good at writing. I'm a terrible speller. As far as a gratitude list, I could name off ten. My wife, my son, my pastor, my church, my ministry. The people that I help on a daily basis. My sponsee. Sponsees. Um, the gifts that I am given from God. The ability to help those in need. If you're having trouble with this, okay, look me up on Facebook. I'll help you. Okay? It's important we make a gratitude list. 
whether we put it down on paper or whether we have it here, okay, it doesn't matter. But it's important we do that. It's important we do the steps. We need to do whatever we need to do to stay clean that day. And sometimes when we're in the fire and we're in hell on earth, it makes it so important that we have that gratitude list. I go through mine on a daily basis, you know. I do a 10, 11, and 12 every morning with God. And I take that time with Him because it helps me focus on the day. And when my day is going bad and it's going rotten, you see, I've walked through the day and I've seen this day and I've said this days and I've had these bad days and I've had these horrible days, days that I'm banging my head against the brick wall and I don't understand and I don't know where I'm going and I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't understand what's going on, man. What's going on? Why am I going through this? What the heck's happening? What the hell's going on, man? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why am I in this? But you see, I'm in myself. I have to get out of myself and get into God. Then, when I get into God, I can look at the happiness that's in my life. Trust me. When I do my gratitude list, I get happy, I get bubbly, I get excited, and I get overjoyed. Okay? No fear. Nothing fringes this person. May God bless and keep you until we meet again.